Welcome back to YouTube. We have another game from in-depth tech reviews. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a file manager for Android called AnyDroid from iMovie. This file manager will help you transfer content to your Android device from Windows, Mac, iOS, or any other Android device. Not only this, but you can also transfer content from iCloud and iTunes to your Android phone, which is interesting. So without further ado, let's jump in. Here's the AnyDroid app already installed on my Windows machine to show you the features. AnyDroid is also available on macOS and the download links will be in the description below. Regarding the installation process and how to connect your phone, I will go through them in detail later in this video. Now let's put AnyDroid into action by connecting my Pixel 3 XL via Wi-Fi. You can also connect your Android phone via USB, but I prefer wireless connections to avoid messing around with cables. Once connected, the first page you get is the device manager. Device manager is for transferring content between your Android phone and computer. And here you can also see the number of items stored on your phone under each category, like photos, music, videos, etc. So I'm gonna get back to the device manager later, but for now let's move to the Android Mover tab, as it includes the most interesting transfer methods. It gives you six different ways to transfer data between your devices. At the bottom you will see multiple ways to transfer content from iTunes and iCloud to Android. And these methods will become very handy if your data is saved to iCloud or iTunes, but your iPhone is not available either because it's lost, stolen, or not working. And it will also be great for long-term iOS users who already have their data saved and organized in iTunes. Just a quick disclaimer, any droid doesn't transfer WhatsApp chats, apps, or app data. Now let's try to transfer some data from iTunes library to Android. First, it will show you how many items you have under each category. As shown here, I have 20 songs, 54 home videos, and the three podcasts. There are other types of data like videos, TV shows, and audiobooks, but there is nothing listed under them for now. So I will select all the categories that include data and make sure to activate the skip duplicates option to avoid having any on my Android phone. So let's click on next and wait for the transfer. Now the transfer is done, so let's take a look at the phone. Starting with the videos, they are listed under the movies folder on my Android phone. The number of videos is 54, which is matching what I transferred. And the videos are playing just fine without any issues. And when it comes to the audio files, as you see, both the music and the podcasts are available in YouTube Music under device files. Keep in mind that AnyDroid will not transfer your playlists from iTunes. So this is how AnyDroid transfers data from your iTunes library to Android. Now let's try from iTunes backup to Android. I deleted everything I transferred to my Pixel 3 XL in the previous step, and you can see that under the Device Manager tab. I have zero photos, messages, and videos. Back to the Android Mover tab, and let's click on iTunes Backup to Android. It will automatically pick the iTunes backups I already have. Here's my iPhone 12 Pro Max's backup. Its size is 6 GB, so I'm gonna choose it and click on Next. After a few seconds, it will show me the types of data I can transfer, and how many items I have under each data type. So I'm gonna hit next and wait for the transfer. Now the transfer is done, so let's take a look at the phone. Here are the 307 photos, the two videos, the 1408 contacts, and the 146 messages. So that was effortless. The third transfer method is from iCloud to Android, which means it will transfer the data synced to your iCloud account from your iPhone to any Android device. First, it will ask you to sign in with your Apple ID, so let me do this really quick. Once done, it will automatically fetch your data from iCloud and show you the stuff you can transfer to your Android phone and how many items under each category. So here I have 309 photos, seven contacts and three calendar events. Once more, I deleted the data transferred previously to my phone before starting this transfer. Now, I will click on next to start the process. It will first download the data to the computer and then the phone transfer will start. So I'm gonna give it its time. After a while, the data got transferred as expected. So let's take a look at the phone. Here are the photos listed under a folder called photos. By the way, if you want these photos to appear under your camera roll, just copy them from their existing location to the DCIM folder using any file manager on your Android phone. The seven test contacts I created are also available on my device. And finally, here is one of the three calendar events transferred over from iCloud. There is one more way to transfer data from iCloud to Android, which is iCloud backup to Android. But unfortunately, this feature no longer works 
as Apple no longer allow third-party apps to get access to iCloud backups. Beside iCloud or iTunes methods, if you have access to your iOS device, you can transfer data directly from your iPhone to your Android. To be able to do this, you need to connect your iPhone via USB as it doesn't support Wi-Fi connection like Android. Then click on iOS to Android. It will allow you to transfer plenty of stuff from photos, videos, and music to messages, call log, contacts, and more. And it works exactly the same as I showed you earlier. The last option you get under Android Mover tab is from Android to Android. By this, you can connect two Android phones via USB or Wi-Fi. To connect another Android phone via Wi-Fi, click on the drop-down menu at the bottom left corner, click Add More, scan the QR code on the screen, give the required permissions, and you are good to go. Here I have my S21 Ultra and the Pixel 3 XL connected at the same time via Wi-Fi and ready to transfer all the file types listed below. Back to the Device Manager tab to see how we can transfer content from any Android phone and the computer, either if it's Windows or Mac. At the top, there are three quick shortcuts. First, the Content to Computer shortcut, which will allow you to export the data from your Android phone to the computer in bulk. The second one is called Add Content, which will allow you to transfer files from your computer to the phone. And finally, the Files shortcut, it's for manually managing your device folders. So let's try to transfer content from phone to PC. By default, any droid will save your data under the Documents folder, but you can easily change that under settings. Just click the hamburger menu at the top right corner, then choose settings. And here you will find the tab called export. Under export, click on the select button next to the export path. Back to the transfer page, I will choose everything available on my phone and click next to start the transfer and give it some time to finish. Once the transfer is done, you will see a folder called any droid plus today's date. And inside the folder, you will see subfolders for each data type. Now let's try to do the opposite and import some files to the phone. Once more, I wiped everything from my phone to have a fresh start. I will click on add content. Then I will navigate to my sample data folder. Here I have different types of data. It includes 10 photos, three music files, two videos, some APKs, and the contacts I exported earlier from one of my phones. I'm gonna select all of them at once and hit open. Any droid automatically categorized the data for me and it shows how many items under each category. Then I'm gonna click next and wait for the transfer to complete. Now the transfer is done. So let's check the phone. Here are the 10 photos I transferred, the two videos, the three music tracks, the contacts, and finally the APKs. But all the transfer methods I showed you earlier will transfer data in bulk. So what if you want to transfer individual items? This will still be possible under the device manager tab. Just to click the data type you want and under each one you will be able to select individual items to delete, send to another device, send to PC, add content from the PC, and more. Last but not least, any droid has a built-in media downloader that can download music and videos from more than 1000 websites. And the most popular ones are YouTube, SoundCloud, Vimeo, and more. All you need to do is to paste the link, hit search, and click the download button next to the video or audio quality you want. Back to the installation process of any droid, it's very simple as expected. Just click the download link in the description below, based on which OS you use, run the file, and go through the installation wizard as you normally would, and that's pretty much it. When it comes to connecting your Android phone, you can use USB or Wi-Fi. For Wi-Fi connection, you need to have the AnyDroid app installed, but it's not available on the Play Store. To quickly download the app, you will see a hyperlink under the Wi-Fi tab called No App Installed. Click on it and scan the QR code using the camera to download the APK. Then you need to install it manually on your device. Once done, open the app and tap on Scan QR Code. Scan the one you have on the screen to quickly establish the connection between your phone and any droid. But if you want to connect your phone via USB, instead you need to activate USB debugging. Under Developer Options, you will find the USB debugging switch. Once done, plug your phone and give the permission to the PC to access your phone. For iOS, you can only use the USB connection with no extra steps, but make sure you have the latest version of iTunes installed on your computer. Now let's talk about the price. There's a 50% sale taking place right now, so you can get a lifetime plan for 39.99, one year plan for 29.99, and both will give you a license for one computer. Or you can get a family plan that gives you a lifetime access plus a license for up to five computers. All the download and the purchase links will be in the description below. So that was my review for AnyDroid from iMobi. Please let me know what do you think in the comments below. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.